What's going on everybody? Derek Short here. Today I'm going to be discussing with you guys of how to maintain the look of your ped and keep them looking great. So first up today we're going to be covering the different types of tools and products you're going to need for keeping your ped looking great. So first up here we have an air compressor. If you have access to compressed air that's going to be the best way for getting in those tight hard to reach areas. Now if you don't have an air compressor a nice brush would be great for getting in those tight hard to reach areas. Next up here we have a couple different microfiber towels. We have a light colored one and we have a dark colored one. The dark colored one is going to be for the basically the dirty areas of your go pet. You know cleaning the wheels, around the motor area, you know the chain, etc. Next up here is a basically a light colored microfiber towel which is great for cleaning your handlebars, your pole, your frame, etc. Um, lastly here we have a white magic eraser. This is great for removing scuffs that might have ha not happened to your scooter. You know scuffs on your pipe, scuffs on your frame. You want to kind of clean it back up a little bit. You know that does the job as well. The products that we'll be using here today is going to be water with a 50-50 mix of 71 percent isopropanol alcohol as well as some metal polish for you guys that have the nice chrome pipes, the polished poles and whatnot. So we'll get right into that coming up next. So first up we'll be covering the air compressed method but before I get into that I want to put this little reminder out there is this is just a great way for cleaning your ped if it's not heavily soiled with full of dirt, grime and debris and grease and whatnot. If it is heavily caked on with you know grime and dirt and whatnot you really need to remove the motor from the ped or the wheels or whatever it is all heavily soiled and really get in there and do a good heavy degreasing. So with that said um, we're going to get in here and cover basically the air compressed method then we'll cover the brush method. So let's go ahead and get started on the air method. Now what this is great for with the air is it can really get into these grooves of the fins of the head shell right there and blow out that dirt and that head shell is what keeps your motor cool so it's very important to keep that head shell clean especially if you're an off-roader where you take your pet out in the dirt all sorts of you know foxtails and grass and all sorts of debris and dirt get in there and that gets caked up and then your motor overheats thus having your motor seize up so it's very important to keep that clean air compressed air is the best method for doing that. Also I want to put this reminder out there is this compressed air is not only good for cleaning your motor area but your wheels and the whole area of your pet as well so keep that in mind. Next up here we're going to be covering the brush and how to clean it if you don't have access to compressed air and this is a great method as well to get in those fins and knock out that dirt and debris. So we'll go ahead and get into that right now. So working around here with caliper the bri bristles kind of really fan out and help you get in there same, same thing around your carburetor here, helps knock that dirt loose. And then getting in your fins right here and knocking out that dirt and foxtails and grass that might be in there. So you can continue around your ped with the brush and really get in there and clean all the different parts of it. Next we'll be getting into is how to clean your ped with the towels. So next up we're going to be covering the towel method of how to clean your ped. This is our black microfiber towel we're going to be using first and we're going to be using our 50-50 mix of water and alcohol. Not the kind of alcohol you drink but the rubbing alcohol. You can get this pretty much any kind of store. So we're going to do two maybe three sprays on here. We're going to take our towel now, get in here to the wheel, and just basically get in there and clean all those little tight crevices that you can and knock all that dirt off. Pick all that dirt up, hit the outside of it. But what also works great is if you have your brush still here, you guys saw earlier, and getting here around all the nuts and bolts work really good where your finger cannot get in there and clean. Just knock that dust and dirt right off of it you're good to go. Next up here we've got our light colored towel. Now this is what we're going to be using for cleaning basically the frame and the pole. So again we're going to be using our 50-50 mix of water and alcohol. We'll do two or three light sprays on here. Kind of mush it in a little bit and then we'll go ahead and just lightly wipe down our frame. For those of you that are like me and you put these little decals and stickers all over your frame, just be careful when you wipe over those because the stickers, the little tight sharp edges can easily be picked up. So you can kind of just tap over it or lightly wipe it real easy to pick up that dust and dirt on there. So that's your next method right there. 
So next up here we're going to be covering how to remove scuffs and scratches with your magic eraser. This won't remove scratches that are actually into your paint if you have a scratch on your frame or whatever like this. This is more or less for a paint transferred scratch or you know right here I have a nice scuff on there that happened from my shin guards I wear when I ride. It actually burned onto here. So we're going to tr first try is using our magic eraser with our 50-50 water mix of alcohol and water, rubbing alcohol that is, 71%. If this doesn't take care of it, then we're gonna step up to a polish. If the polish doesn't, isn't abrasive enough to remove that scuff, then we'll actually step up to a compound. So we'll try this method first and see how it works out. So we can do a couple light sprays here on our pad. Go ahead and rub it. See how that does. It's not really taking out anything. You can see a little bit of you know scuff on here. We'll wipe that off. Next up, we're gonna be using our polish right here. This is just some McGuire's polish that we use for polishing cars out. Go ahead, pop the top. We'll go to our clean side here. Just apply us a little bit right there on there. Go ahead, work it in. Go ahead and wipe it and check it. That really helped out quite a bit, if you guys can see here. So there's a couple little bit of marks still left. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bump up to the compound, a little more abrasive. This is this polishing compound that we use for polishing cars out. Go ahead, we'll apply a little bit more to our applicator here. Same concept, go in here, we'll work it in and just keep applying a little bit of elbow grease until that scuff is fully removed. So this could take a few minutes to fully get in there and remove it all. So it might take a couple applications to really knock it all out. But we'll take a look now and see how that looks. So we got just about all of it, but for time's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here but you can see, just continuing that method will remove any scuffs or burns, you know, from your pants or shin guards or knee pads or whatever when you're out riding that might have touched your pipe. So the last part of the video here, we're gonna be covering on how to polish up your pipe. This will also apply to if you have a race pole that's polished or a fan cover or what have you. So we have one or two ways we can do that. We have a nice full applicator pad here. We also have a nice microfiber towel which will also suffice for the task. In this video we're going to be covering on how to do it with this nice applicator pad. This applicator pad is basically a wax applicator pad and can be had at any you know, auto parts store. So we're going to go ahead and take our metal polish here. We will apply a small amount to our applicator here. And we're going to go ahead and massage it into our pipe here. And you're going to do your entire pipe, but for the sake of time in this video, we're just going to do this back section here. So you go ahead and work it in there. After you've done worked it in, we'll let it set for a few seconds. And then we'll go ahead and wipe it off. And we'll use a microfiber towel for wiping it. But what this does right here, you know, it also not only helps clean it, but with some metal polishes, it actually adds a layer of protection, which is really good. So now we've let it sit for a few seconds. We'll go ahead and wipe it off. And we've got a real nice shiny pipe again. So you can go ahead and repeat this method for any fan covers you may have, race poles that are polished. Um, also, on some race poles, they have a clear coating on there, clear anodized, so you won't really be able to get a, the true potential out of that you know, polish for shining that back up. So keep that in mind. You know, as always, if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to hit me up, send me a message. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I'll continue making more. And thank you guys for all the support.